About 350 years ago, a Dutch fabric merchant named Antony van Leeuwenhoek figured out how to make microscopes that could see tiny things no one had thought to look for. He discovered bacteria, he discovered red blood cells, and his work led to a new understanding of what makes us sick and ultimately to breakthrough treatments such as antibiotics. Centuries later, Elizabeth Hillman, a biomedical engineer at Columbia University's Zuckerman Institute, is also inventing new kinds of microscopes, this time to create 3D movies of life in action. Her microscopes are helping researchers to see the brain in a whole new light. We have a lot of really cool ways to take pictures of the living brain. A lot of these rely on making cells fluorescent, using tricks that we learn from jellyfish. We can make cells that glow when you shine light on them. But even better, we've been able to make brain cells that flash when they fire. It's like having a firework display going on in your brain. But most of the microscopes that we have aren't fast enough to capture all of this beautiful activity, especially not in 3D. Most of them just show a few cells or, or a two-dimensional plane. That's why we created a new instrument that can scan lots of cells at once by sweeping a light sheet back and forth. Our microscope is called SCAPE, and it's showing us things that we've never seen before. We recently used SCAPE to image fruit fly larvae. We wanted to see how these little maggots could sense where their body was as they were crawling along, in the same way that your body helps you to balance when you're trying to walk along a balance beam. We were able to see the neurons along their body wall flashing and bending and stretching. We could actually see the electrical activity that was telling the larva exactly where its body was. People always say that seeing is believing, and what we're revealing can help us answer fundamental questions about the brain. I've been working with a lot of my colleagues here at Columbia to help them see things that they've only dreamed of seeing in the past. We've been looking at the brains of fruit flies that are sniffing for food. We've watched the hearts of baby fish beat in real time. We're peering into the brains of mice and worms. We've been looking at critters in pond water, crazy creatures like Platinaris and Volvox. We're even trying to see if we can use this to image the human brain during neurosurgery. Growing up, I always loved art and pictures, but I also loved maths and physics. Yeah, I was a real nerd in school. I was also just one of a handful of girls who studied physics in my university. When I realized that I could have a career where I could build imaging systems and microscopes, make beautiful images, and also help people, that's really the best career I could have hoped for. I hope that other girls will be inspired to carve their own paths into science and engineering.